Indicative of the firm's falling share price from 256 down to 130 since its IPO, revenues alike are in sharp decline. The revenue of the year decreased by 14%, excluding global fund we grew 43%. Uh, we reach a level of sales of 195 billion shillings. Our gross profits for the year we reduced by 6.8%, so we reach a 35.6%. The majority of the reduction was related to the, as was mentioned about, about already by the CEO, about the price increases that we have on the API perspective. C plus shareholders are now trying to come to terms with the firm's slow growth and failure to attract more business from government. And the question is, why is it difficult to deal with the government who is the biggest consumer of pharmaceutical products in the country? Why are we not penetrating into the private pharmaceutical subsector? Much as we are looking at the business outside, I feel we need to exhaust what, is, what we have domestically. Thank, Thank you. you. I look at the returns that come in and the growth in income. The income has decreased almost by over 70%. And the share price in the market has dropped by over 50 percent from since the IPO. You did not talk about that. Beyond high cost expenditure on the company's wage bill, among others, the drugs maker says affecting the profit were impairment losses as a result of International Financial Reporting Standards 9 to the tune of 3.1 billion shillings. How do we measure and how we reflect the risk that we have in our financials? especially about the receivables. This was highly discussed with our external auditors, and the total uh, risk and provision that we did on the year was 3.1 billion. It is competitive. Um, of course, it's very competitive. But we believe, we are, well, we know we are internationally competitive. We have quoted and won on international com tenders, which compete with companies from India, China, Europe, the USA. For example, this PMI tender. The National Social Security Fund is the largest local institutional investor in CIPLA quality chemicals with over 269 million shares, equivalent to 7.38% of total shareholding.